costing is one of the triple constraint elements we have previously referred to. Typically, when we consider undertaking a DIY project, such as Janet's tiling project, we are usually limited to the amount of money that is available. As a result, we need to plan, manage, and control our project costs using a budget. This budget is a limitation or constraint. By constraint, we mean that we are required to deliver our project within a predetermined amount. In order to prepare a budget, the first thing we need to do is estimate the various costs that will be incurred during the project to complete the identified project activities. In project management terminology, this exercise is referred to as developing a cost estimate. And the accuracy of this will in part depend on past experience in undertaking the same or similar type of projects. In order to develop the cost estimate, Janet would need to do the following. Firstly, estimate the resources required for the activities she will need to undertake in a kitchen. These may be quantities of materials, which in her case would be tiles and tile cement, equipment such as a tile cutter, supplies, and additional human resources. Hmm, would Ben help perhaps? After estimating resources, we would need to estimate the duration of each of these activities. Some may have an hourly, daily, or weekly rate, for instance. Janet would need to hire the tile cutter for the duration of the project. Finally, Janet will need to prepare a cost estimate based on the best information available of the resources she identified and the cost of their supply. Now, reflecting on the project, how do you deal with the additional costs that have come about through undefined activities or the temptation to add more items to scope? Where a budget has been fixed, we would need to revisit the original scope and work breakdown structure to consider the proposed change addition and how it might impact on our schedule and whether it is achievable. If the scope change cannot be accommodated, we essentially have two options. We can seek additional budget support based on the impact of the cost estimate that the change addition will have. And if this is not possible, we would need to trade off by reducing scope on some of the existing activities in the original scope, which is also referred to as de-scoping. This option usually results in a compromise of quality and as a result is generally an unpopular choice.